Buckle in because we've got some thrilling news about the much anticipated GTA 6. A recent bombshell article has sent the gaming world into a frenzy suggesting that an announcement trailer for GTA 6 could be just around the corner possibly making its debut by the end of this year. According to the gaming grapevine, Rockstar Games is gearing up to unveil not just one, but two exciting projects during the 2023 Game Awards event. An insider named Buds Cario took to Twitter to share the juicy details, claiming that the next installment in the iconic Grand Theft Auto series is slated for a 2024 holiday release. However, there's a small chance it could slip into early 2025. The game is known to have been in development since the release of Red Dead Redemption 2, which took Rockstar five years to make. Without the pandemic, we'd likely have seen GTA 6 slightly earlier, but due to workplace limitations stemming from social distancing, the game was set back by a couple of years. Without these limits in place, we'd likely have seen Grand Theft Auto 6 be released this year since that would be roughly five years after Red Dead 2. But hold on, that's not all. Remember those whispers about a Red Dead Redemption remaster? Well, they weren't just rumors after all. It turns out Rockstar was indeed planning to revamp GTA 4 and Red Dead 1, but they decided to focus on the development of GTA 6 instead after the flop of the GTA Trilogy remake. Smart move, right? The GTA Trilogy Definitive Edition obviously didn't live up to fan expectations. The games were riddled with strange bugs, issues stemming from the mobile ports of the games, and arguably a big graphical downgrade. It's one of the worst remasters of all time, and the way Rockstar handled the removal of the original games from all platforms made it even worse. The game's poor quality can be traced back to the fact that the game was outsourced to a less experienced studio that had mostly worked on mobile games in the past. Rockstar has since learned from their mistakes and is now rumored to have their eyes on a Red Dead 1 remaster, handled in-house this time. Of course, the game will feature completely updated graphics. The original Red Dead Redemption was released in 2010 on consoles, and while the graphics certainly aren't bad by today's standards, they're not great either. Technology has come a very long way in the last decade, and the graphics in games has improved drastically from 2010. My guess is that the remake would either use the Rage engine that Rockstar used for Red Dead 2, or it would be using the new GTA engine. The reason for this is that Rockstar would be able to test the engine's limitations in an actual use case. Making game engines is hard, and while devs and testers can prod and try to poke holes in an engine by playing the game or running diagnostics, having millions of gamers do it for you is a lot easier and takes less time. It could also serve as marketing for the next GTA. If the Red Dead remake uses the same engine and it looks amazing, it would surely get fans hyped for GTA 6. So what kind of things would a Red Dead Redemption remaster include? Well, first of all, it would be bringing Red Dead Redemption to PC. The only way for gamers to play the original on their computers is through emulation software, which is too complicated for the average gamer to set up, and it's also very demanding on systems. Aside from it being on PC, the game will obviously have improved graphics and textures, but the biggest improvement would actually come from new features like DLSS and ray tracing. One thing I'm hopeful for is that the Red Dead remaster will include Undead Nightmare, Undead Nightmare was a DLC expansion for the original Red Dead, but it was so massive and detailed that it could have been its own game. In this DLC, we were once again in the shoes of John Marston, this time in an alternate universe type of setting where most of the world has turned into zombies. We don't really have much news about Undead Nightmare, but like I said, I'm hopeful that Rockstar includes it since it was one of their most fun and unique DLCs ever. But you're probably wondering, how do you know that a Red Dead 1 remaster is coming? Well, the writing has been on the wall for some time. On June 15th, the Korean Game Rating and Administration Committee had actually re-rated Red Dead Redemption for consoles. While this may seem insignificant, the rating had actually added new features and mechanics that weren't previously in the original version of the game. The rating mentions body damage in its violence section, pointing towards more advanced injuries like we saw in Red Dead Redemption 2. Now, let's talk dollars and cents, shall we? Creating a masterpiece like GTA 6 comes at a staggering cost, with estimates floating around the $2 billion mark. The scale of this project is unprecedented, with over 2,000 employees and numerous contractors involved in bringing this game to life. It makes even more sense when we look at the costs of previous games developed by Rockstar. GTA 5 had a budget of $265 million, while it's been estimated that Red Dead Redemption 2 could have cost double that. While $2 billion is a lot, this is Rockstar's most anticipated game we're talking about, and the marketing costs alone could cost as much as GTA 5's entire budget. As the speculation mounts, some fans are wondering if Rockstar will raise the price of the game to offset its soaring budget. 
will we see GTA 6 hitting the shelves at $150? That's certainly what some people online seem to think, with plenty of people on Twitter already complaining about how expensive the game may be. And while that price seems a bit steep, a modest increase of 10 or 20 bucks might be more plausible without compromising on sales. But here's where it gets really interesting. GTA 6 is most likely giving us a sequel to GTA Online with all new businesses, activities, and missions for us to do, and with how things are shaping up, it's probably going to be a massive hit regardless of the circumstances. And GTA Online is already one of the best-selling games of all time. It's raked in billions of dollars for Rockstar to fund whatever they want to do for the foreseeable future. It's been one of gaming's biggest success stories, and its combination of RPG elements, open world, and multiplayer madness has paid off big time for the studio. With GTA Online's enormous fan base, it's no surprise that Rockstar intends to capitalize on its success with the next installment. Even though the last GTA Online update ruined the game, it still makes Rockstar a lot of money. GTA Online remains a money-making juggernaut, generating a jaw-dropping $2.5 million every single day. That's roughly $1,700 per minute. With such a thriving online community, it's highly likely that GTA 6's multiplayer mode will surpass its predecessor's earnings. And for this reason, I don't think Rockstar will increase GTA 6's price at all. At the end of the day, the online will generate much more money in the long run than the base game will. It would instead make more sense for Rockstar to keep the game to the same price or even split it into two separate games like they did with Red Dead 2 on Steam. You can opt to purchase the full version of the game that comes with single player in Red Dead Online or buy them separately. So if you know you'll only play single player or only online, then you can actually save some money. I personally think that this was a genius move for Rockstar to do. Many people already owned the game on console and had beaten it, but maybe wanted to play Red Dead Online with their friends on PC, but the full price of the game turned them away. Instead, the players are given more choices and it actually saved many people an extra 50 bucks while getting more people to play online. So taking that all into consideration how GTA 6's online will probably be a massive success. I'm inclined to think that Rockstar will probably keep the price the same as any other game. I really don't think they'd hike the prices up to 150 bucks for the base game. That's usually how much collector's editions cost, and those come with a whole lot more than just the game. So what do you think? Are we getting a GTA 6 trailer or announcement soon? I personally believe that if we would get anything, it would likely be at the Game Awards show in December since it's the biggest remaining video game conference of the year. But at the same time, knowing Rockstar, they could reveal the game at any time. Anyways, that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'll see you next time.